delicious. <laughs> I'm so bad. My kids are going to be in heaven. Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. Today I am making a topping for my brownie. It's a browned butter confection. Um, like an uh, icing, but you brown your butter and then you glaze it with some chocolate. And then when they're sliced, they look beautiful. So I've already baked my brownies in a 13 by 9 pan. And we are going to head over to the stove and brown one half cup of butter. Okay, so you're going to take a stick of butter and you are going to cook it until it's brown. We'll go ahead and get out two ounces of chocolate. So I'm using Baker's unsweetened chocolate, okay? All right, let me show you my butter. I turned it off, so it's, it is brown. That's how you want it. It's not burnt, it's just brown. Mm, it smells so good. Now you need to use real butter if you do this recipe. Um, you don't really need to try to use uh, margarine, okay? Because you need that brown, you need that brown butter flavor in this. So we're going to add our butter into our bowl. We're going to add a little bit of vanilla. We're going to add um, four tablespoons of cream. And while we're Mixing this up, I'm going to go ahead and put our chocolate and uh, shortening in the skillet and leave it on a real low temperature. So, I'll use the other side of my tablespoon that didn't have the milk in it, all right? That's the good thing about these tablespoons. You can use them for more than one thing. All right, so there's one tablespoon. And here's another tablespoon. And what we're doing now really is making like a ganache or just like a, a, a melted chocolate That's all we're doing. Melted chocolate. So I'm going to turn my eye all the way down on a real low temperature like that. And we're going to put our chocolate in here. Well, I'll just put it in there like that. So I've got two ounces of chocolate and two tablespoons of shortening, and we're just going to let that start melting in there. See, it's already melting. So I'm going to put it back on the stove over here while we make our little confection. And I'll have to watch it and not let it burn. Okay, so now we have in a half cup of, bur of browned butter. We have in four tablespoons of cream and some vanilla. Now we're going to add powdered sugar to it and fluff it up. Two cups. Now you can have this recipe if you've got a little square pan of brownies, but I did the 13 by 9 today. cuts and then we're going to beat it till it's nice and fluffy and if my my cup is going to run over <laughs> which is a good thing right let's stir this right quick before we mix the rest of that in all right so we're melting chocolate we're making this all for brownies you could toast some um nuts to go on the top but i am not this is going to be kid-friendly brownies. The only thing about putting chocolate like that in a microwave is the microwave is wattage is very high. So if you do, you better make sure you turn your wattage down or it'll burn your chocolate. 
I don't want to turn it up while I've still got powdered sugar in the bowl that's loose or it'll just spray everywhere. It'll spray on y'all's screen. And then it'll be like it's snowing in here. Alright, now we're going to turn it up and fluff it. Whoa! Let me taste it. Oh my gosh, that's good. I'm going to put just a little bit more cream in it. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. I want it to be creamier than that. I'm going by the, their recipe, but you know me. I got to make it a little creamier. Y'all, it tastes just like brown butter. Oh, I'm getting so excited. I forgot about my chocolate. Let me turn it off. Excited. This is good. <laughs> oh, I'm so silly. Yes, it's going to take more uh, cream than they said. That's about how I want it right there. You want it to be thick enough that uh, it's going to cut with the brownie, so you don't want it too thin. Oh my gosh, is it delicious. So we're just going to ice them in the pan. So you're going to take this and spread it onto your brownies. And it's about as thick, really and truly, it's about as thick as a creamy middle of a chocolate. Like a chocolate candy. So we're going to try to spread it out even on our brownies. It's a real creamy color because of the brown butter. Y'all, these are beautiful when they're sliced, okay? Beautiful. Very impressive on your serving tray. You know you got to make brownies for the kids, so why not go ahead and make them extra special and beautiful. I think I need a little bit down on this end, but not a lot. All right. Now we're going to put the chocolate over the top. Now, see, you wouldn't want it too wet or the chocolate wouldn't set good. But I'm following their directions. We'll see. I have to trust them. And now I'm just going to pick it up. And let it run over the top of them. You want to cover the whole pan. I doubled the recipe hoping that it would cover all of my brownies. And really, all you want it to do is coat them. You know, it's not supposed to be a thick layer of chocolate. Just a really pretty thin layer to make them beautiful, okay? Okay. So just pick it up and move it around just like that. Don't try to spread it with a spoon. And then I won't bring y'all back out here when I come and get it. But let's flash freeze it real quick. And then I'm going to slice one for y'all because it ain't going to take long. All right. Okay. Y'all having a good Christmas? Merry um, New Year's. I mean New Year's. Christmas Eve. Um, It smells like brown sugar in my kitchen now. So y'all tell me what you're up to. Let me see who's on here. Y'all gotta go up with it. Okay. How would you have put that chocolate glaze on? Y'all, I'm not kidding. This stuff tastes like heaven. The tray I got from Liz, isn't this beautiful? Is that not gorgeous? And so I'm going to slice these brownies and serve them on them, but I can't do it until the day of our party. But I will slice a couple for you guys in just a minute. It'll be ready. It's probably already cold enough to slice. 
If you slice your brownies, make sure you clean your slicer every time you make a slice. Um, if you want it to be really pretty, because you want to see the layers of your brownie. Yes, it's 1962. 1962. But look, I saw this picture of the brownies. Look how pretty they are. And I thought, man, I'm going to try to do that. Look, I got icing on my lip. And we're going to go out there and get them. Now, I don't know if mine will be as tall as those, but aren't those beautiful? Just beautiful. I just had to make them. Y'all want to see what this looks like? It's Betty Crocker, uh, new good and easy cookbook in large. Gosh, it looks beautiful. See, it's just so beautiful. I hate to touch it. Or right, let's try to get one right out of the middle first. The first one's usually not pretty whenever you're trying to dip something out of something like this. And then once you get the first couple out, then they start looking better. Just pick up this one, honey bun. But look at that brownie. Would you look at that brownie? Look at it. Yummy! All right, I'm going to eat one of the ugly ones, okay? That tore up. I wish y'all could have a bite. Yum goes right there. Delicious. <laughs> I'm so bad. My kids are going to be in heaven. Woohoo! Thanks for watching. Colored Valley Cooks. Convection brownies. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Look how pretty that is. Looks like it does in the book. I did good, y'all. And y'all can do it, too. And leave it in the pan. So you live and learn. Leave it in the pan, and that way you can uh, slice them and, and pull them out good. Y'all have a blessed Christmas. And hopefully we'll see you live tonight on YouTube at the Christmas service in downtown St. Mary's. Um, live at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Bye, y'all. Love ya.